Hey, what's up guys? Games are slowly starting back up again in Europe and hopefully won't shut down again soon. But today we're gonna take a look at some of the coolest homemade or partly homemade airsoft inventions <laughs> that I have built or used over the years. Among the assault drone, the R6D, the minigun and many others, I've compiled a list of nine of these crazy inventions for us to have another look at. But first, add time. This game has turned into somewhat of a meme at this point, but it's genuinely a good game and the sponsor of this video. Raid Shadow Legends is a game where you create your own champions with their own unique skill sets. You can gain XP, gear and skill to put your champions to the test against other players by playing the arena, which is in my opinion the coolest part of the game as a competitive type player. And by the time you watch this video, the Tag Team Arena should be live, which is a game in where you play your opponents in a best of three instead of a best of one. It's basically arena on hard mode. And since it's all brand new, the devs are giving out special rewards to players who finish up high in the rankings. So if you want to get started playing the game, you can click the link in the description down below and get a really good starting epic level champion, the Shaman. And along with your free champion, you'll get 50k silver, 50 gems, 5 mystery shards, 1 energy refill, 1 clan boss key and a 1 day XP booster. And all this treasure is waiting for you right here. So click on the link down below before the giveaway runs out and get started playing Raid Shadow Legends. Let's start off with the hardest one to build out of this list. It was the Airsoft Assault Drone, or as others refer to it, the Glockcopter. It's an FPV drone that's piloted in first person using a live camera where the underslung remote-fired Glock points towards the middle of the screen, creating an assault drone. Up a bit more. So next one, the second favorite on my list in the top nine is the R6D or, or remote control explosive device. It's a big ass heavy RC truck that's super, super fast. So we stuck the landmine on top of here. So it's also remote detonation. Okay, ready? <laughs> There's blues right across from here. Two of them in the bushes. Got you. Blow, 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 blow. <laughs> yes! Yes! Hold the control, hold the detonator around the corner. I know, I know. Let me know. They're running, they're running. Going up the hill, dead net, dead net, dead net. So the landmine that I use for the R6D is a gas-powered spring system that detonates using this tiny little detonator. It's great for placing in a corner of the room behind you where you can either detonate using the motion detection sensors or by manual detonation. Which this reflective bathroom tile wall was perfect for so I can see the enemy coming. Good. 
So during the following game we played with grenades only. However, during the break we decided to get our duct tape out as we found out that if you reset the trigger upside down that the grenades would go off as soon as you pulled the pin. So we tied a bunch of strings to multiple grenades taped to my vest and then we could make them all go off at once. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is our gas powered mortar that can fire literally anything that fits inside the barrel. So on this cold and rainy day I chose the water balloons to fire at a group of players hiding in a tree line about 90 meters away from a position behind cover. Fire in the hole bitch! I see one in the bushes there. <laughs> Plus the M132 grenade launcher. Just like the real one, this thing takes huge shotgun-like shells which made a huge cloud of pellets towards the target. These shells, however, this time around have a much higher capacity than anything I've used before, which completely annihilates players like this. Round two, this time the enemy has the high ground spawn and it's up to us to not crumble and stay in the lead whilst they have the advantage. They're already there? Fire out! <laughs> now what? <laughs> Next up, the famous minigun. So this is a pressurized air-powered minigun that uses an electric motor to drive the feet and barrel rotation system very much like the real thing. It's been upgraded with precision barrels and a high-speed rotation motor for nearly 48 rounds per second fire rate. Shot! Shot! Ready? Yeah, one, two, three. Oh. What up? <laughs> oh, guy, guy, guy. The Car 98 Mauser. So this Mauser was once a real gun that was made by the Germans in 1942. And after surplusing the gun, it has been converted to accept SSG-24 parts by a specialist in England and still bears all the original proof marks and aging scars, becoming one of the most authentic airsoft guns in the world.
after the attack on our building. So this one is not quite homemade, but still one of the quirkiest airsoft inventions that I've come oh, across. Shit. It is the explosive ammo. So these rounds have been fitted with a small amount of powder, flash? similar yeah. to what you find in those party pee popper things. And when you insert these things into a shotgun or a minigun, it creates quite a large oh, amount of sparks <laughs> in the target, which is pretty Fucking cool. Smoke him off of that one. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs>